Hey yo, what is up everybody? It is the King Hitman here, and I know I'm stupid dummy late, but I want to cover the data download that happened last night, and I'm actually it's kind of beneficial I'm late because we found out that Goku Jr. people are very disappointed with Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr.'s EZA. We found out they're getting a buff. I have no idea what they do beforehand. All I know is they're getting a buff. I will cover that in a moment. I don't know what Evolution Blue does. I don't know what the Bardock does. JP is also getting the three great apes. I'm not even going to talk about them past this point pretty much because we know what they do on global. They're really not that impactful unless you're trying to be like giant form SBR or ESBR, I should say. Global is going to get, well, for that matter, global is getting Goku Jr., Vegeta Jr., the entire LR set in about 13, almost and a half hours. So the standard time we get data down or uh, not data, like updates, right? The standard time with the game will reset for banners and stuff like that same goes for maja vegeta but on both versions of course now maja vegeta i like him a lot i wasn't impressed with his offense his defense is damn near impeccable though i've seen the numbers on him his defense is absurd i really like what he's doing i think his leader skill is great i think the gifted warriors part of it is pretty easy to trigger because you're you're pretty much building a Vegeta family team anyway, which is a whole bunch of Vegetas and a whole bunch of Kid Trunkses, right? Well, I maybe mean, not a whole bunch, but a couple Kid Trunkses. So you can definitely make that work. Now, with that being said, his active skill, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. The logic between his, uh, the logic like of his active skill really annoys me. The idea that you have to take six hits, which means at the earliest you're getting it on turn three or turn four, and then you can't, it's a very fair chance you get it on turn five or turn six when it's a super battle road mechanic, when it's optimized, right? You have to get hit six times. You have to take damage six times. And the man will still sacrifice 18% of your HP. Now the turns where he does his active skill, he his offense is so I did I did a short where Rose, thank you to Rose, of course, did like his the numbers on Vegeta when he does his active skill turns, right? Bro, his offense almost triples. Like, it's insane what he does when he does trigger that active skill. Very few units in the game benefit from it. At least T Wars benefit from their active skill in a single turn. Like, he's he becomes like a mid-offensive unit to a juggernaut of, of offense. It's almost like Kaioken Blue levels of offensive potency, right? He becomes so insane. Now, with that being said, he's like an 8 out of 10. His leader skill is great. I think his super attack effect is basically a standard super attack effect at this point for any good CUR. His entrance animation plus like the rest of his mitigation and defense makes him almost invulnerable. He's ready for the red zone from what I can tell. We do have to see more videos and showcases, of course. His orb changing. I don't think his HP restriction is hard to get, especially because he wants to get hit. So, you got two Vegetas, they're on opposing rotations, they both want to get hit, you're forcing yourself to take damage, right? So, with that being said, I think Vegeta is fine, I just, uh, I wish the final explosion was a super attack, and then his, I, I'm telling y'all, if his active skill was that moment where he, that support memory that is incoming, I don't know what it does, I couldn't find anybody that seemed to know what it does. That support memory where he says a saying always keeps his pride. That would have made him so much better in terms of the final explosion. He would have been an AoE if they gave it to the suit. They wouldn't have stripped him of that, right? So just think of if his essay was an AoE, his active skill made him crit and like greatly raise. I don't know, figure it out, right? Crit, raise attack for one turn by like 25, 30% and give all allies two key, right? I don't know, figure it out. But with that being said, I hope I don't keep saying that. <laughs> With me saying that, I'll leave Vegeta at about an 8 out of 10. I think he's a really good TUR. This is important, though. He might not return on Global for a while. Like, the Broly... So, the way Broly didn't return to Banners for, what, like, 8, 9, almost 10 months on Global was really alarming. I didn't care for Broly, but... I do take stuff, note of stuff like that because it it reminds you that sometimes they haven't really figured out what to do with certain things they bring to global at the same time or for that matter first. So it's important to keep note. If you're going to summon for Vegeta, just know 
you're you're gonna pull him and have him much lo there's a fair chance i should say you have him much longer than other players usually would have until they can obtain him now my int broly i bought with that ssr force ticket or whatever it was they they had you purchase a couple months ago but vegeta who knows when he returns now onto the trunks and goten i don't think they're as bad as people are saying they are however you kind of don't need them right like if i pull them i'll be like ah, okay cool i guess but the fact they have the same namesake as the physical trunks and goten is very odd i don't i don't care if one's on blue saga and one's on movie heroes that's weird there's no reason they should have had this namesake uh, and you can't even make them a base trunks and goten unless you want them to compete with the lr eza so it's weird you're walking on a weird really weird slope Maybe he should have just been a base form Kid Trunks. That probably would have helped. I, I guess that would have helped, right? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. But Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr.'s easy A. Let's get into it. Now, I said they got buffed. They have the B-Pan hidden potential system right now. And they're getting an almost a... <laughs> stuttering. They're getting almost an additional 2,000 uh to each stat right hp attack and defense they have b pan's weaker hidden potential system that will be fixed but from what i'm hearing they're not even gonna like people really don't like this unit so that it didn't seem like that was gonna fix their issue let's see what they're built like gt heroes world tournament 3 key 120 they are the best world tournament leader in the game now super attack 12 key raises attack permanently colossal damage and lowers enemy defense ultra super Raises attack, Mega Colossal, and lowers attack. Okay, cool. Passive skill, Courage and Pride. Attack and defense, 100%. They get an additional defense, 10% per each attack performed, up to 70%. They also get an additional two key per key sphere obtained. That is a useful mechanic for a lot of LRs. DTN World Tournament category allies will get one key and 20% attack and defense. They launch an additional super attack. Oh, no. They launch an additional... <laughs> They launch an additional that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when you get five or more key spheres. They launch an additional, really? That's a weird mechanic. They launch an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super when there's a Goku or Vegeta family category enemy. Okay, I guess. I, I see why people aren't impressed with them. They definitely don't look great on paper. Um, I'm not sure that people might be... Let me reiterate, people are definitely right on Twitter. I don't think 2,000 to each stat would fix what this unit is. I don't really like it at all. Link set, Sand Warrior rate. Well, I know their link set. Why would I repeat their link set? Link set is fine, though. AG, this is what I'm hyped for. Matter of fact, I'm so hyped about it. Let's skip to Bardock. I want to skip. I'm going to come back. I'm going to double back. Bardock, STR Bardock, raises attack and defense for one turn, steals enemy super attack, supreme damage, passive skill, attack and defense, 150. He gets an additional attack and defense, 20% per key sphere obtained. Chance of performing a critical hit, plus 7% per key sphere obtained. You reduce damage received by 10% per team Bardock category ally on the team up to 50%. He is really good. For the free-to-play unit that he is, He's really good. I like Bardock. He's very direct. He's, uh, a lot of these free-to-play teams, they try to give him like gimmicks and quirks and stuff like that. Nah, Bardock is really direct. He doesn't have any. I mean, the team Bardock condition is a bit annoying, but if you can, if you put him on that team Bardock team, he's not taking much damage at all. I really like him. I want to see him in action. At now, back to my man's AGL Evolution Blue Vegeta Link Level Ten Rainbow Showcase on the way. Just so you know. Super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, immense damage to the enemy, and greatly lowers defense. So he, he, yes, man, he's raising attack and defense on super. I wanted that so bad for him. Now, passive skill, stimulated pride. Attack 150% and defense 100%. He launches two guaranteed. Oh my gosh. He launches two guaranteed additional attacks, each of which has a rare chance, which I believe is. 5% or 15% a 15% chance to become a super attack and 20% defense is gained with each attack performed up to 100% he evolves when the when the conditions are met his evolution condition is slightly buffed it was 30% before and now it's 40% to transform starting from the fourth turn of battle yo I'm hype okay so 
So really, Vegeta is getting 40% defense per attack performed up to a max of 300% after he does 5 attacks. I love it. I love it. Let's see what his transformed abilities are. When he's Evolution Blue, Vegeta on Super Attack raises... Okay, it's the same. Raise attack and defense. Massively lowering defense was always an annoying mechanic. I hated that he had it. It's so pointless. Passive Aggregate of Key. Attack and defense 150% at the start of the turn. He gets an additional defense 100% when he super attacks. He launches two, two additional normal attacks, each of which has the rare chance to become a super attack. And his crit chance is plus 10% with each attack performed up to 70%. Now I will say, as much as he looks phenomenal on paper, I kinda, I always thought when he EZA'd, this would end up being up to 100%. Like I really thought that was a possibility. Just for a while now, when I saw how crazy they went, like physical future Gohan and tech hit and stuff like that, um, I like him, I have no issues. His defense is calculated separately for a total of 400% defense when he super attacks. Damn, man. I I really, I really like this guy. Oh, no, I'm tripping. That's his, I, I thought I was bugging out. No, 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 no. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, Evolution Blue will get up to 400% defense when he's performing his super attack. I, I love this guy. I love this guy. I've been waiting a very long time for his EZA. That's all I've got for you guys. I don't want to waste any more time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hitman is out.